Hey man, welcome to True Backstage and Road Stories. Uh, today I'm going to tell you about the lighting, the little lighting console. I'll tell you a couple stories about the lighting and kind of how it worked. So I want to thank you for subscribing to begin with. And I want to thank you for liking and sharing my videos. I love telling these stories and y'all's comments really make it worthwhile. So I want to get that out of the way so you can pay attention to my story. <laughs> so thank you. And now, here we go. Boom. So y'all may not know this, but back in the day, uh, a follow spot was what they used to light the entertainer with. And these follow spots, they used to be arc spotlights, meaning that they had two tungsten rods that would go together like this. And they would make a spark like a welding rod, really, really bright. Well, then there's mirrors in there, and that light it creates shoots down a tube and then hits the entertainer. So that's how they used to work. Now they're xenon. They probably got better stuff now, but they just turn them on and turn them off, you know, like a light switch. But before you used to have to line these two rods up. They got adjustments on both ends. And if you're with the country artist, a lot of the stagehand people they put the new guys on spotlights with the country artists because uh, I think it's easier. There's not as much going on on some of them you know there's not as much action going on on stage but anyway so i was i was doing spots one time and i could usually you don't see the spotlight operators the guys they're usually behind you in these little uh, little cove like things but this one time i could see this guy and he was sitting up there and i numbered him one through four so when you're calling spots you before the show, you give them a set of gels, which are colored, uh, almost plastic-like. And so you have different colors. If they have a little apparatus, they can switch colors. So when you're calling spots, you go, you know, spotlight one. Stand by to pick up center stage and frame two, which to them means they're going to pick up the artist in whatever color two is you give them these gels before you go before they go up to the spotlights and they just set them in like a you know like you put a battery in a camera or whatever and so this one guy he was i could see him and he had a chair up there so a lot of guys go up early their stage hands and they go up early and they sit and make sure their spots are running correctly everything's fine well this guy had a chair and i would call spots and i'd say all right i have a i have a headset on and it's a it's a single muff headset with a little microphone that comes down and when you're doing a show you know it's loud and a lot of times that sound just feeds back in your microphone and it just gets oh, really bad sometimes. So doing the lighting is not, wasn't real easy at times. But, so the spot operator knew what to do. So he's in his chair and I'd say, okay, spot one, stand by. Pick up center stage in a frame one. Ready and go. Well, he was sitting in his chair, and every time I told him to stand by, he would just get up out of his chair and get over to his spot. Well, by that time he got there, the queue was too late. So he must have did it five or six times. And I'm going, hey, man, spotlight one, stand by, ready, go. You know, and these guys are supposed to be standing on their spots, ready to to go. I mean, there's a little lever that lets the light go through or not. So they should be there. And if you're calling spots and you tell them stand by, they should be ready to hit wherever their target is. Well, this guy would have to get up out of his chair and then go and then grab his spot 
and then turn it on. So every cue was late. And after the show, well, before the show, sorry, but before the show ended, I'd find about, I don't know, about, about the sixth time he did it. I was like, spot one, you might as well take a vacation because you're no good to me. So, you know, I'm on this headset, and so all, all the spots can hear me at the same time. It's not like I have a single button to push to talk to one spot operator or another. It's, I'm talking to all of them at the same time. And I'm telling you, after the show, I'm backstage loading out. By the time these guys get down and come back to turn in their gel apparatuses, you know, this guy come down, and I mean, he was mad. He come down, he said, you mother of a... And just started screaming and pointing at me, and a couple of other stagehands had to grab him, to keep him from hitting me. <laughs> God. He, oh man, I've never seen somebody so mad in my life. But he was just furious that I called him out up there. You know, and I probably shouldn't have said, hey, go take a vacation if you're not doing me any good. But this guy was, he was killing me. And, and these people, these artists that you work for, you know, they, they know when you're messing up. And they know that your cues are late. You know, everything's lit up. I mean, it's there. You can see it or not. So when your cues are late, it doesn't make you look very good. But, you know, right operating a lighting console and calling spots at the same time while the music's blaring and feeding back through your little microphone it's not that easy of a job so you know you have to get ready for the show so you have this lighting console with all these faders and buttons and stuff and yeah you know what they all do but during the show you know you have to pay attention to what's going on on stage you have to pay attention to what your spotlights are doing you have to pay attention to what color they're in, what frame they're in, and who they're hitting. So uh, it's not it's not that easy, and it makes it worse. Like there was this one artist, and oh, his wife was famous. So we'd be getting ready to do a show, and we're sitting in the middle of the audience. Okay, we're we're out here. Usually, I'm out in the middle of the audience next to the sound guy who's running the house sound. And so you, you, when you're getting ready for a show, you're trying to make sure all the lights are working and everything's just perfect. But this guy's wife kept coming out about five minutes before the show. She would come out and she was famous. So all these people would just storm the the console area sometimes we were on little risers sometimes we were just on the floor with the crowd well you know five minutes before the show it's it's real it's hopping you know the whole place has got this aura to it and it's busy 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 people coming in and people getting settled and everybody's excited to see the show and it's just about to start and she comes out. The sound guy's trying to get ready to do everything. You got all these people climbing over you to try to get to this other person. It, it just didn't work well. I don't mean to be so <laughs> negative on my channel, and but this is just another story. So I'm going to mix this with some other footage. So check it out. And thanks for watching. See you.